In May of 1978, my mom graduated from college and left for a summer in Europe. I've just graduated myself and will be leaving soon for a similar adventure. But before I left, I wanted to know what solo female travel was like in her day and how it compares to now. I decided that one, I wanted to go to Europe after I graduated from college because I, I had never been anywhere before other than the United States and Mexico. And um, while I was in college, I studied art history in addition to my major, which was history. And we did a, a survey course, Art 105, 106. And I was so excited about all of the beautiful pieces of art and architecture and um, paintings, just everything that I saw. I wanted to see those things in person. So that's how I planned my trip and my itinerary. I took my Art 105, 106 syllabus and my Impressionist art syllabus and looked up, you know, found out every museum where all of those places, where all those pieces of art were. And that's how I decided where I was going to go. And it was something that I, I never really thought I would get to do. I was the first one in um, our family to ever, since immigration, how many generations ago, to be able to travel abroad. I was traveling most of the time by myself, and so I just met people along the way. And as I'm looking back through my pictures, there's not a lot of pictures with people in them, because mainly I was taking pictures myself. Before the and this was before anybody had thought of a selfie, plus, um, we had we didn't have um, cell phones. I had a dispos disposable Kodak cameras that then I would bring back to the United States and have the photos developed. We changed money either at the airport or the train station. I don't know. That's probably pretty much the same today. We didn't worry a whole lot about exchange rates. Of course, when I traveled, it was before the euro, so all the countries had their own money. Every time you went to a different country, you kept having to to change money. Of course, that was before uh, the Berlin Wall came down, so the countries in the Eastern Europe were still communist, so you couldn't go there. Um, and that's when uh, the countries that, well, the Czech Republic was Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia and, and all of that, so that was, a, the country borders have changed and countries have become different. Um, since then. I didn't really think about traveling alone. I was conscious of staying safe and being um, wise, but we didn't have computers, we didn't have the internet, we didn't have uh, cell phones, we couldn't text, none of that had, had uh, been invented, I guess, at that time. So when I left, we, in order to make to communicate with home, it was through letters and postcards and the, um, the people, my family here could send um, a letter or postcard to the American Express office in the major cities or they could send them also to the uh, various train stations and that's where you could go and inquire if there was any mail for you and pick it up. I did leave in a, a, a proposed itinerary with you know my mother at home so she would kind of have an idea of where I was going uh, but after that you know pretty much no communication for the three and a half months that I was there with my family. And my mom had to be very brave to let me go and uh, not really ever be able to communicate with me for, for that length of time, not knowing from day to day um, what I was doing and if I was okay. And today with technology, while um, the atmosphere has changed all over the world and there's certainly um, at least more news media reports of um, you know things that bad things that can happen. Um, you know, we can FaceTime and we can Skype and we can text, and uh, it's almost like you're you're there with, you know, your your children or your young adult. Uh, I guess they're not children, young adult children traveling because you feel like you're there because they can pick up their their iPhone or their iPad or their computer and just pick it up and walk around and show you what they're looking at. But I think the the framework of the travel is is the same.